Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here at St. Stephen Baptist with another powerful point to ponder as we spend many with the Master in the Word of God. Thank you for joining me today as we continue the theme that we began yesterday. We saw in that familiar story of Jesus calming the storm out on the Sea of Galilee a little note that only Mark makes for us, a little detail to the story which um, gets your mind to thinking about a whole lot of things. We're told that as they were crossing the Sea of Galilee, that in Mark 4, 36, it says, And when they had sent away the multitudes, they took him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. So Jesus, the ship that the disciples were, were in, with Jesus, was not the only ship out there. There was a caravan of ships that were accompanying Jesus. And I want to talk about this entire week, some other little ships, that whenever you see Jesus, you're going to see these other little ships that are in the caravan. Here are the ships, one ship, and we'll look at some of the others during the course of the week. But here's one ship. You ready? Here it is. Let's go. Membership. Membership. And each one of these other little ships are words that have the word ship in them. That's why we're calling them the other little ships. So here's one, membership. What do I mean by membership? I mean that as a Christian, God wants you to be a member of a church that Following Jesus means being uh, on one of those other little ships too. And that is membership because God doesn't want us to be lone ranger Christians practicing Christianity by ourselves. We grow um, as a result of the people who are in our lives. So church membership is vitally important. Every Christian should be a member of a church, bottom line. You should be able to identify, this is my church home. This is my home. Now, um, every soldier, you know, needs a platoon, right? You need a platoon. If you're a soldier, you just don't soldier by yourself. You need a platoon. You got to be a part of the army. And every baby comes into the world, grows only because that baby is in a family. And every citizen uh, needs a country. And every bee needs a la laboratory called a beehive with other little bees. And just like bees need a hive, and just like um, a uh, soldier needs a platoon, and just like a baby needs a family, you need a church home. You need a church home. In fact, just like a bird has two wings, what causes our faith to fly, just like a bird flies with two wings, what causes our first faith to fly is two words, believe and belong. Now, we know the importance of believing. That's vertical. I believe in God. That's vertical. And the Bible teaches that to be Christian, we should believe or have faith. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth, believes in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. So believing is important. But not only does God want us to believe, God wants us to belong. Look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. It says, now you are no longer strangers to God and foreigners to heaven, but you are members of God's very own family, citizens of God's country, and you, there it is, belong in God's household, which is the church. Now, we know John 3, 16 says you're supposed to believe, but Ephesians chapter 2 has the word in it. God wants us to belong. Listen, friends, let me tell you something about the church. The church is not a building, and I think COVID-19 has helped us to realize that. Church is not a building because... If the church was a building, then we could no longer be church because our buildings were shut down. I had 
people constantly ask me the question, Kevin, when is the church going to open up again? And I would say to them very respectfully, well, our church is never closed. Because they were mistaking the church, which is the people from the building. The church is not a building. Secondly, listen, the church is not an event that we attend. We think, you know, I'm on my way to church. No, the church is not an event that you attend. It's not a building. Now, we have our buildings. I understand it. But if you say, I, I'm going to church, then you think of your building. Or say, um, I, I'm attending church right now. You're thinking of an event, a worship event. And worship is important. Listen to what church is. Church is a spiritual family I belong to. Bottom line, it's a spiritual family I belong to. And God wants you to believe, and then after you believe, God wants you to belong to a spiritual family, a local church that we call church. Now, many of us have a problem, we don't have a problem with the believe part. Sometimes we have a problem with the belong part, and that is because sometimes church folk don't always not, they don't always act like church folk. Some poet said, to live above our love, that will be glory. But to live with the saints I know, that's another story. In other words, when we get to heaven, we can get along. But sometimes when we get to around church folk, then church folk can be cantankerous. A lot of people are turned off by the Redeemer, who is Christ, the Redeemer, because of the behavior of the redeemed. And I get it. But listen to me, my brothers and sisters. There's no such thing as a perfect church. No such thing as a perfect church. I remember, I remember many years ago I was in Atlanta, and we were downtown, and there's a church that's called the Perfect Church. And being curious, I said, oh, my God, the Perfect Church. That's the name of the church, the Perfect Church. So I decided to find out more about the church because I wanted to know about this, quote, unquote, the Perfect Church. And I knocked on the door of the Perfect Church to meet maybe the pastor or someone, and, and no one answered the door. So when I got back to my hotel room, I called and said, so maybe I could return tomorrow and meet the pastor and find out some more about this church. No one answered the phone. I knocked on the door, no one answered. I called the church office and no one answered the phone. And then it dawned on me, there's no one there. Because there's never anyone at a perfect church. Because if you find a perfect church, the minute an individual joins that church, that church ceases to be perfect. The reason I don't want a perfect church is because I am imperfect. And the only thing I can do as an imperfect person to a perfect church is to make it imperfect. If you find the perfect church, don't join it because the minute you join it, it ceases to be perfect. What makes the church so wonderful? It is the only institution that you can join on the basis of how undeserving you are. Try to join a fraternity and a sorority. You've got to prove your worthiness. Try to get a job. You've got to prove your worthiness. Try to go to one of these uh, Ivy League universities or a major college, and you've got to prove your worthiness. The church is the only institution that we join on the basis, Lord, I'm not worthy to be a part of the church. And based on our unworthiness, God says, come in because my blood and my redemption makes you worthy. Talk about little other little ships. One ship that all of us need is the ship called the church. And God wants you to make sure that's in the caravan, that it's time for church membership, not simply for what the church can do for you, but also for what you can do for the church by being a blessing to someone else. So that's the first shift in the caravan, and that is membership, other little ships. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. And for those of us, oh God, who have been dodging membership, help us to get connected to a local church. 
In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with me again for another Powerful Point to Ponder. If you don't have membership in a church, I want you to walk in obedience. I'd like to extend an invitation to you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Uh, contact us. We'll get right back with you. New start at ssclive.org. Well, peace and blessings to you, and we'll pick up on this theme of the little ships tomorrow. But until then, during COVID-19, remember to stay safe, stay sane, and never forget that God is in control. See you tomorrow.